In the words of Ruka, is it you or your father? That's the bastard. Hey, Osea, I see what you wanna be. Uh. Oh, babes, babes, babes. Please let me through. Love you. Thank you, darling. Oh, everyone is so nice today. These are made in Haiti. This was a gift to me from. Oh no! Okay, this is a look. Um, I picked up the. Dang, is it Charlotte too? Golly, Charlotte took all my money. Sheesh. Dance and tease. You go like the Highland breeze. Say goodnight to my living room. Uh, say goodnight to my living room. Okay, so we are back in action. But before I forget, I said I need to make sure I come here and put my gems on because I feel like I've spoken to you guys about this body balm already from O'Shea, Osea. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it. This is their anti-aging body balm. Oh my God. Like as a product, it's already like fire because like your skin is hydrated, but it has like a, a small sheen to it. So it's like... Mm, you look like you healthy you drink water and electrolytes 24 7 and you just eat legumes and frutas 24 7 but what i also discovered is that this product will make the fragrance that you spray on your skin last so much longer i'm talking about i could do this for hours and hours and hours i could do this for hours <laughs> Come on, Mooney Long. O'Shea along. O'Shea, O'Sea. I see what you want to be uh, long, okay? Um, <laughs> I found that out by accident. I had like put a little bit on my, like, my elbows, my arms. It was getting ashy, so I put a little bit on my arms. I sprayed my perfume, and later that day, I went to lie down real quick, and I remember going like this, like lying down, and I was like, ooh. Is that my fragrance still on my skin? Mind you, that's why I prefer to, I mean, I'll spray my skin too, but like I really spray my clothes because clothes hold on to fragrances longer. Um, your skin, you know, eventually will wear off on the skin, um, especially if it's not as great quality or doesn't have as much of an oil um, percentage in it. But baby, the way my arms still smelled like the fragrance, and it was specifically right in the area where I applied the Osea on my elbow, so like this area here. Um, Cause when I spray, I just do a quick little situation, whatever. But I smell the fragrance like right here. I went down to smell here and I'm here. I didn't really catch it, but right where I put it on my elbows, I smelled it right here and I said, wowzers. This stuff, ooh, ooh you should do a, a little test. I'm telling y'all, the product itself is great, but the fact that it also holds on to your fragrances that long, like I love that. So I'm gonna link it down below if y'all are interested, but baby, like, that girl is fire, okay? Fire. Now, I need to get dressed because I should already be putting my makeup on to head out, but I just don't know what vibe I wanna go for. And I kinda do, actually, but I think it might be too hot for that. Alexa, I feel like she's not plugged in because she ain't been talking back lately. Alexa, like, who unplugged her? was me. She's still plugged in, so what's like, what's her problem? Child, that's a problem for another day. I can't do that right now. I need to get dressed in like two and a half minutes. <laughs> um, so I can throw this makeup on and be out the door. Y'all, this room is a mess. Between laundry and I also just put all my packages for my hauls in here. <gasps> when I tell you, I can barely walk around this room. It's chaotic. But you know what? I'd rather the chaos be in here than in the living room where it was before. Like I just, I'm over it. <laughs> I could do this for hours. I could do this for hours and hours and hours. This room is going through something too, okay? There's laundry in every room because I have clothes in every room of this house, <laughs> okay? So if you see anything, just close your eyes. <laughs> um, I'm wearing this naked wardrobe crop tank and this Walmart, Walmart skirt. Um, I used to always get these from Nordstrom because naked wardrobe, they be acting like they, I don't know what's going on, but I need them to get it together because why, 
why can't I find anything for, for plus girlies from Naked Wardrobe anymore? Like, these are my staple tops. I have so many from Naked Wardrobe and I cannot find any of them. And unfortunately, they do start to peel over time. And I do have a little thing I could get rid of that, but... Like, one of them, I don't know if it, like, got burned in a dryer. I don't know what happened. <laughs> but the point is, I can't replace it. And that's upsetting me and my homegirls. So, like, what are they finna do about that? Like, what they finna do about that? Anyways, um, let me put deodorant on, first of all. And I didn't figure out what bag I wanna wear. Cause the bag I, was gonna, I wanted to wear originally, that could hold my, um, my tripod. It's not gonna fit, so I'm gonna have to hold the, the, the camera in hand today. So, wow. I have really developed a blue bag collection. You know, I think I'm ready to admit that I'm a purse collector now. <laughs> I think, I think I'm ready to admit that. I think that this calls for, do I wanna do this? I was gonna say, I think this calls for my Carl Lagerfeld bag that I bought when I was on a search for a denim bag because it says pearls on it and I feel like the tweed skirt gives pearl vibes. So I could do this bag, which mm, I can. I don't know if I love this look. Uh, if I do a denim bag, it's gonna be this one for sure. Cause I can also do this bag. I think I got this from Target. Ooh, Jamaica has options. What is going on? Or I would do a pop of color. Could I do? A, I could do a pop of color. No, we're not gonna do that. Um, oh no, never mind. These blues don't go with the, I mean, honestly, I, I could do this one. This one's a little too bright. We're just gonna do the denim. We're just gonna do the denim. It is what it is. I could do my go-to silver Balenciaga bag, um, because y'all know I just love silver. And low key, I kinda wanna wear silver accessories with this. Um, so that's a potential move. for sure but I always wear this bag and I'm trying to get more wear out if you see me putting bags on the floor it's because I have a pile there after rearrange my purse collection um because I did add a couple people <laughs> okay the point is <laughs> they're just they're laying in front of the the shelving unit right now because they do not yet have a home or I've temporarily removed their home or their home is being subletted out to somebody else right now. The point is I'll fix it when I can. Did I? I'm about to say, did I break my uh box cutter? I love these. Oh my god. I'm wearing a box cutter. Wow. It really makes a difference. But I think this matches the vibes because of the pearls. I don't know if I have any pearl jewelry. Ooh. Like how extra are we gonna be today? Like, this is just a little coffee tape, you know? Well, lunch too, because once I'm out, I'm, I'm you know, room is out. But you know what? Yeah, this is pretty roomy. My camera still won't fit in here, but at least I won't have to be, like, shy about the other things I put in here. So, that's good. I'm never mad at a room bag. Actually, can I? Does this have to be, like? Oh, no, I can I was about to say, I prefer to wear my bags on the shoulder. Wait, what's happening to me? Okay. Hold on. So, like, the long way. There we go. Like this. Because then my hands are free. Which is not usually, I'm usually carrying something, you know? So. Yeah, I'm okay with this. Ooh. I'm so bloated. I still haven't had breakfast yet. Ciao. I feel like the white shades, the white shades are definitely a moment, but I want to do something different. I don't want to do plain whites. I feel like I could do white with so many other things. Wow, I'm really sitting here trying on shades like I'm not about to be late. Should I do my Chloe shade? First of all, let's do our face first so we can really get a, a look. 
Okay. Yeah, so because the bag has gold hardware, we're gonna do mixed metals for this look. Okay, let's throw on a quick face first of all, cause like, we need to go. I don't know, like they claim, they say this is like seductive. I don't necessarily get seduction from it. Yeah, I'm not necessarily getting seduction, but I am getting clean, like fresh, smell good. Yeah. Been looking for like a, a body oil to put on out of the shower. <gasps> not me saying that. Oh, girl, not me being a body oil girl. <laughs> I'm watching AJ by the way. I, I used to not even used to. Girl, this was yesterday that I said this. But putting that oil on after I got out the shower last night, literally wet still. Felt so good. I felt so smooth. I felt so like soft. And I didn't even feel like um I didn't feel sticky. I didn't feel sticky. And that's one thing that I can't mess with. Like the oil is probably the furthest that I can go out of the shower. I can't do the butters and stuff like that. I just get hot. I be feeling like everything's sticking to me and I don't like that. So this is the end of the vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And Her I'll glasses are so cute. The Hold on. Midweek vlog. Ah! Hold on. Oh, this is Edit and Adrian. How cute. I actually forgot to film an outro for this and I did not show y'all me cleaning my room. So, <laughs> here we are. So cute. <laughs> this I'm running out of time. Shimmer lights for my wig that I have and then some scalp treatment so that I can clarify my scalp before I do everything that we have. Creature habit. I just this has just been my go-to. This damn combo just does it for me every time. Oh, by the way, it's the Fluid Project Transcend by Reno Baldaflique. And I'm gonna top it off with a little Burberry Ur. <laughs> Burberry Her. I think this is the intense one, the intense elixir or something. But I mean, the regular one is just fine. But it's like the first two gives it like a fresh, airy vibe, and this adds a little bit of like sweetness coming in into it. Once again, match the vibes of the pearls. And now we're out. Uh oh. This time, I am not making a mistake of leaving y'all behind. batteries so my bag where is my tripod you are not leaving the gems behind okay period fine we take the tripod it's on it is what it is yolo <laughs> we out <laughs> these damn shorts i tell y'all they want to be panties so bad like all the time girl get a grip <laughs> I get a grip. Anyway, child, we are off. You know, the whole sunglasses on the head thing, like, feels like a great idea in the moment, but the way the product be on the bottom of the glasses, Loki, I'm screaming, not the greasy glasses. <laughs> I be hitting all the spots that you ain't even know was there <laughs> And you can share it like the last slice Always felt like you were so accustomed to the fast life Sweatpants, hair tied, chilling with no makeup on That's when you're the prettiest at home Cause she a patient in my waiting room Never pay attention to the room You the fucking best, you the fucking best You the best I ever had Your body drive me crazy Your body need a license fit she just wanna dance and tease me You've been missing since 2016 Squid tell me one I, 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 I see Why your heart 
moments I see Love the way you twist and turn, twist and turn, yeah Yeah Dance and tease You go like the Highland breeze Me no one be no bitch a ton of button Me like the boat, me no one ton of mutton You my blood so I'm lying like a dog Me I go pick up for you every time you call Now for them boy, you're so bad mind Then we'll kill you for nothing at all so really random, but like, is it just me? But whenever I see someone with American flag, like on their car, outside their house or anything like that, is it just me or I'd be looking at, I'd be thinking they're racist. <laughs> is it me or anyone that like reps the American flag old T like you racist and you hate me? Like you hate my guts, you hate my life, Jim Crow, Confederate flag, <laughs> for life, like that's what it gives. And I'm like, sorry to this man, sorry to the veterans, sorry to the people that, you know, give their lives to keep this country safe. But it gets me racist. Am I tripping? Mm. Back to the tunes. This car, you have nowhere to go. Like, you're just taking a leisurely drive through the road. Like, you have nowhere to go. Clearly, you have, <clears throat> it's fine. I gotta learn this dance. Y'all, look at this. This truck, like, it's just too much. It's too much. I see you. Oh, this, this, he gotta move. He gotta move. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> no, he is not supposed to be here. Wow. Oh shoot, I didn't mean to turn you on my bad. But also, FYI, I, oh y'all may not know, but um, I used to drive um, buses, kind of like metro buses, but for the school, my university. Dang, how did I? Anyways, the point being is when y'all see the stop line at a at a light or a stop sign, or whatever, you may think it's cute to go a little past it, whatever. But when you're in the middle of the lane, the reason they put it so far back is because cars that are turning, trucks, buses, they need that extra room to turn. Now, that truck was just too big, and these little roads, it just it it, it don't move. But just a little tip, because that used to be very frustrating. <laughs> As a bus driver, like he's like, you need to turn and you need that little, like that extra foot. You need it to make that turn or else you're eating curb. And people just be over the line. And most people don't really know that because they're not, of course, in the driver's seat of the truck. But it's the people that it's like one car over the line and you see the, the bus coming, you see me trying to whip and you just, you just sitting there like just casual, just ch chilling. Like it's your daddy's road. Huh? In the words of Ruka, is it you or your father? That's the bastard. <laughs> no, quickly. Is it you or is it your father? That used to piss me off. Man. Like, you can clearly just back up because you're the one in the wrong. You are over the line. But instead of just backing up, because it's not like there's cars behind you. No. But you a boss. You can stay there, huh? It's you and your father that's the bastard. <laughs> Man, have you eaten curd? I feel the dirtiest look like you, motherfucker. <laughs> Over here trying to turn the wheel, you motherfucker. <laughs> oh man. When I tell you, it's like I've lived 13 different lives. Like, I think back to that, I'm just like, Jimmy used to be a bus driver. <laughs> Like, I'm talking about CDL, DOT card, the works. Like, Jimmy makes me whipping buses. Like, that was so long ago. Like, I've literally lived like 13 different lives. <laughs> Man. Now, actually, the only reason I even let my CDL go, well, I had to by force is because my eye situation. Y'all know I'm blind in my eye. I can't see I'm blind, blind. And when you're driving a bus, it's not as simple as getting a license. Like you have to go through a physical exam, all the works. Like you can't 
be killing over at the wheel. You have to be in, in relatively good health. <laughs> but um, child, yeah, it was it was it was a struggle, a struggle. <laughs> Ooh, that was that was the first of many things that did not end well in my life that uh, caused things to go downhill. But it's all right, cause we up and we stuck now. Okay, putting that out there, we are up and we are stuck. <laughs> Ain't no more downhill for me, baby. There's no more downhill for me.
if you got your name, you can just sit on order. Oh, okay, thank you. All right. Grabbed a quick bite to eat. It wasn't that great, <laughs> but it did its job. Curbed the starvation because I didn't have breakfast. <sighs> and now we're going to Sephora. <laughs> I did it wrong. Oh! Sorry. <laughs> oh no! Oh baby! <laughs> oh! I'm yeah. Oh! As we, got, as we got closer, I was like, I feel like I'm doing this wrong. Who's walking around? I should have recorded that. My turn. Uh-uh. Ah, Cause who's about to walk around? Here, come on. <laughs> it's even an athlete. You saw that? Period. Hello. Um, <laughs> it's been quite the day. Quite the day, darling. Oh, 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 oh. Relax. <gasps> There's so much traffic. My goodness. <laughs> you know what? That's fine. That's fine. It's fine. But, um, yeah, your girl had quite the day. Mm. Um, for sure, I did more damage than I thought. Why do I have blush on one side of my face but not the other? <sighs> I have blush on my left cheek but not my right. How did the right one fade so quickly? Anyways, off topic. 
um what was the topic i feel like summer is ending rapidly and there's so many things that i haven't done yet like like i feel like i haven't had a really like great it's all, it's all, all right it's august like i feel like that's one of the first things i should have done but anywho child on my way home i had a great day people were so nice today like people are well generally people are nice um but like people are so nice to me <laughs> i got so many compliments on my outfit i like my overall look i was like oh thanks so nice i'm like uh, apparently tweet is that girl tweet is that girl But yeah, it would have been really nice to carry into winter if I had snatched the um, the matching sweater when I first saw it. But I was thinking, I was, heat, like heat and sweater just don't mix. But to me, well, you can't just think about now. You got to think about the tomorrow. So I feel like a tweed situation with some cute knee-high boots. Like, I could have carried that into fall. But I did not. Anyways... I will see y'all in the concert. Okay, so I am home and oh child, we have to this groceries up. Let's get to it. Okay, so really quickly, we're gonna go over what I got. Um, oh, damn! My, oh, baby, not not the shades. Oh, she was cute. Cause first she she tried to put all my things in one bag. Oh, she forgot about the, the goodie bag. <laughs> I had a free goodie bag. There was a rep working for this skincare brand. And as soon as she started pushing this facial wash, I was like, oh, she must work for the brand and not for the store, which is fine. Cause you know, we'll see what it's given. Um, let's go ahead and start with the products that she recommended. Um, she saw me picking up my Tatcha cleanser. She was like, are you stuck on Tatcha? And I said, yes, not too much on Tatcha. <laughs> whatever you're about to say, relax. Okay. She was like, no, you know, I have a better cleanser or whatever. And I said, okay, we'll see what it's given. Um, so basically she was saying it's an oil cleanser, but she uses this as her only cleanser. I would, I don't think I would ever use an oil cleanser as my soul cleanser. Um, but I mean, I've never tried this, so we'll see, but I'm definitely willing to try it as an oil cleanser for sure. Um, so yeah, she said it works really well. Of course she did. You know, she's a rat, but you know, she said it works really well. So I said, I'll give it a try. It's actually the same brand that makes my glaze lip oil. I'm trying to see if I have it around here somewhere. Um, but when I saw the brand, I was like, you know, I've never seen this brand before. And then I saw the lip oils and I was like, oh, but I have seen the lip oils. I didn't know they had like extensive products. So I grabbed that. Um, and then I also picked up this body serum because did I need more? <laughs> um, and she showed me a picture of her foot cause she has eczema and I guess she had like a, a breakout or something and they had like left some marks on her foot. And she said she used this and after a couple of weeks, her feet was completely clear. So I was like, girl, not you can't prepare with the, be <laughs> with the before and after pictures. Um, but you ain't got to tell me twice, honey. You know, I love a skincare item, honey, period. So we're going to give her a whirl and see how she works out. Um, my thing is, I think I, I jumped from products back and forth a little too quickly. Um, I, so I want to use this by itself long term. Oh my God, that sounds so boring. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all know I love variety, like, but I'm gonna use it consistently by itself to see how that performs. Um, yeah, so we'll see. But just saying that out loud, I'll just like immediately bored. <laughs> I like to switch up my product, I like to switch up the scents, all of that, but 
Child, we're gonna try. We're gonna try, okay? I picked up a NARS blush because it was so pretty. It was like a berry tone, but it was like radiant. You guys know how I feel about glowy cheeks. It was such a radiant, gorgeous color. I just, ugh. <gasps> oh, look at her. Do y'all see the? I don't know if it's given that on the screen, but it actually looks more glittery here than it did in, oh my God. It's so pretty. I'm putting that aside because I need to start using that like ASAP. I picked up these beauty blenders. Um, I actually had already picked one up with the previous Sephora order that I did. Why do I keep ordering from Sephora? <sighs> but yeah, so I picked it up and I used it today. It, it was the softest beauty blender I've ever used in my entire life. I actually think it's better than the original. Keep in mind, I use my beauty blenders dry. I know there's a whole lot of hoopla about that. I'm not a wet beauty blender kind of girl. I can do a damp, like almost dry sponge, but like I prefer dry personally. And I tell you, it's so soft. Oh, so did I pick up two more? Yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I did. Next we have the Charlotte Tilbury um, Flawless Finish Powder. Now you guys know I've been like experimenting with a lot of powders lately, trying to see what works for me, what doesn't work for me. Um, so I figured why not add this one to the mix? And what I like about this one is I feel like I can use this as my touch up powder on the go. Let's see, depending on if I can fit like a powder a powder pad, like the little puffs in there. Um, like I like how thin she is. That means it'll slide into the purse really easily. Um, it says no flashback. I haven't tried it to see, but just a simple translucent powder. Um, I love the mirror, could use some of that right now for being honest, but it's all right. I picked up the Makeup Forever concealer that I don't have. I got this in the shade 4.0, yellow based. So we'll try her out and see how she performs. I also picked up the Dior concealer. I actually wanted to try out their foundation, but I don't know why I didn't. I just kind of felt overwhelmed trying to like shade match <laughs> at that moment. But I figured um, I would try the concealer and I guess based on how I feel about this, I'll get the foundation. Which isn't really fair because there are times where I love the foundation and don't care for the concealer. Actually, most of the time that's the case. So this won't be an accurate assessment necessarily, but whatever, we're, we move. Next. <laughs> I picked up the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Matte Beauty Blush Wand. And at first I was playing with it, um, but I was like, you know, she's cute, beautiful color, but I'm not really a cream or liquid blush kind of girl. Okay, I have like a powder because it's just a whole lot of blending and trying to figure out what goes on what. And it's just, ugh, I don't feel like doing it. But then when I was wiping off my hand, I saw how it was damn near staining my hand. I said, oh, if I use this as a base for my blush, it's not going anywhere and y'all heard how i was complaining how i had blush on one cheek and it seemed to be gone on the other i feel like with this oh it's gonna last all day and i feel like blush is one of those products that like after gloss is one of the first things to fade off your makeup like i don't know what it is about blush but she stayed running away girl i picked up the gwen stefani brand liquid lipstick um i've loved their lipstick for quite some time but i've never tried the liquid lipstick i feel like i saw this and read reviews and didn't love what it said I feel like, but this time around, I just saw it and picked it up. I said, I'm not reading reviews because if I read reviews, I'm gonna walk away with nothing. So we're just gonna try it out. It's like an orangey red, which I prefer. Um, I just love really bright, crisp reds. Uh, what's next? Oh, I also got the Charlotte Tilbury um, Bronze Glow. Cause I am looking for a new like all time favorite highlighter that's on its own. Cause right now all my favorite highlighters are in palettes and it's so annoying for travel because like I have one that I travel with, but it's not my favorite. I want to travel with my favorite. You know what I mean? Um, I picked up the, dang, is it Charlotte too? Golly, Charlotte took all my money. Sheesh. <laughs> I picked up the Charlotte Tilbury, um, Complexion Perfecting Micro Powder, and I got this in the shade Tan. I got this to brighten my under eye, because sometimes I feel like it doesn't give bright. I feel like when I first do my makeup, like it's popping, but then as the day goes on, it kind of settles in and my face looks even throughout, and I want to bring 
out certain parts of the face. Um, so I got a travel, a travel size just to do a little touch up underneath the eye if I want it to be bright, like a time like now when I know I'm about to record, I've had my makeup on all day. Is that a, a thumbprint? Oh. A moment like now, I know I'm about to get on camera again. I just wanna do a light refresh on the makeup. I'll just take this powder and just lightly glaze over certain areas and boo chakalaka. Oh my God, it's all the shell it for me. I picked up this palette from Sephora. I don't know why I did this. Like, I swear I'm gonna go back to eyeshadow and have I yet gone back to eyeshadow? No, but I got it because of course, one shade in particular stood out to me I have no spine, my goodness. Literally, first of all, all the shades of brown basically look the same, just a slight difference in undertone. Like, this was such a waste of a palette. <laughs> like, y'all really could have done something else, like put in a dark brown, like, y'all didn't need, th you know what? I can't be mad because I bought it. Like, I bought it, but if they had just interchanged one of these for like a brown, a dark brown, or a black, life would be made but anyways i got it because i feel like this green is gorgeous and in my mind i was like these two are beautiful for like an everyday situation um so it's perfect for travel is it actually perfect for travel absolutely not because it's only transition shades i stocked up on my refi sepia lip sculpt lip liners because those are amazing and they're my go-to <laughs> when I don't want my lips burning from the Too Faced lip liners. They're plumping lip liner, very scary, but also I keep buying it, so. I like the packaging, I like that it's clickable, I like that it's convenient, I can take it on the go with me, I don't have to sharpen it. I don't like to sharpen stuff here, so that's, the, that's really the only reason why I keep buying it. I don't love the formula. <laughs> last but not least, is this last but not least? No, it's not actually. Um, I picked up the Refi Water Loose Powder, um, Skin Finish Water Based Powder. There was a powder that I used from a brand before that felt wet and cooling. And I don't remember what brand it was, but I remember thinking like, wow, what kind of technology is this? Now over time, the feeling went away, but I'm gonna try this because I feel like it's gonna be, be the same thing. Is that a good enough reason to try it? No, but until I find the number one powder that just makes me wanna scream from the rooftops that I love Sephora, I'm gonna keep hunting. Which is kind of ridiculous because I actually really like the Givenchy powder I've been using. Also, when I was out trying to take a picture, these mosquitoes tore me up. Oh my God. I can't stop itching my legs. Lord. Oh, I think that was it. Oh my God. Oh, that is it. Oh, and last but not least, I got the Refi Lip Gloss. Mind you, I'm with the Sephora for... Oh, and I got this um, liquid eyeshadow. Once again, the whole eyeshadow thing. All right, Shima B, for real, please, <laughs> please. Um, but yeah, that is, oh, and the Dior um, blush. <laughs> um, this is in the shade, I think Rosewood? Rose, yeah, Rosewood. I just heard so many great things about this. And I mean, just look at the color packaging, like, oh, oh my gosh, such a stunning color. I don't think it's that color exactly, if I'm remembering correctly yeah actually not at all i think i fell in love more with the color of the packaging than i did with the actual product but the actual product is cute <laughs> but i really wanted like this right here this color with this shimmer this everything that is the blush i am waiting for if somebody could kindly make that for me that would be amazing and based on what i saw from what blush was it based what i saw based on what i saw from hey what blush was it from NARS, I feel like NARS, you have the formula down pat. It's more pinky, but I want like this coppery reddish color. It looks like the formula is, is, is hitting. If you can get the shade to where I need it to be, oh, I will live. I will absolutely live. But that is it for today's haul. <sighs> At this point, I don't even know why I fight it. Like, oh, and the little goodie bag that came from the rep. Shout out to her. Ooh. Honestly, I really just love the bag. Like, so cute. Perfect for on the go. And she has like mini sized samples of their products. Cute, 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 cute. The moisturizer. Okay, a great way to try out their products. Oh, I love that they put like two of each so you can actually really get a good chance to 
try it out y'all definitely gonna be seeing these in the next couple of videos for sure definitely gonna be playing around with uh these products i hope you guys enjoyed being out and about with me it was definitely fun um for sure i'm getting over my fear of holding a camera in public and really just embracing the conversation that comes with it and i feel like that was really my biggest hindrance um but i feel like ever since i embraced it more it's been a little easier and every time i go out it gets a little bit easier a little bit easier a little bit easier and also i kind of find that when i look cute it's also easier because it then it's like it's almost like okay now you look the part <gasps> Was that a thing for me? Did I not feel like I looked the part? Oh, we're gonna unpack that, but not right now, because right now I gotta go. <laughs> I am actually on my way out the door. I have dinner plans tonight. Wearing a super simple naked wardrobe brown body congress. Sorry, I just did a package one. Um, got that Lewis on me. Got my phone. Oh, no, I don't. That's my phone chat out. Oh, I'm debating if I want to go out after dinner, but we'll see what the vibes are. But just in case, I'm going to grab some red bull. Just in kizzy case. But, yeah. Let's hit the road. in the back working. Good morning, Gems. I'm currently getting ready to head to the gym. It was like storming. <laughs> um, I remember I, I woke up at five because I had to use the bathroom. And then at some point between five and when I woke up, the power went out. And I know whenever the power goes out because um, I have these lamps that will turn on. <laughs> oh, I thought that was thunder, but that's my neighbor upstairs. But yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so. Oh, shoot. I didn't spray any body spray or nothing. Y'all know I didn't even talk about spraying sun. I sprayed my Frenchy cashmere vanilla. Love this stuff. But yeah, so I'm trying to hurry up. Oh, that's how y'all feels like there's so much fluid in my knee. Like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> ridiculous. Okay. I know only. Okay. Throwing on my A6. Oh, Lord. Okay, because one thing about me, one thing about Jemima, she gonna put on a cute gym fit. Okay. Um, I just, I love to be cute. <laughs> I really do. Okay. This is a look. We're doing extra with the shade today. And I have to run some errands afterwards. So guess what I'm taking with me? <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Give me a little. Yeah. Tell them how you killed me today. Yeah. Oh, okay. Is it recording? Yeah. <laughs> hey guys. Ah! Look, make sure y'all eat your pineapple before you work out for digestion. Oh. And energy. Yeah, she did, she did amazing. She did amazing. I was struggling, but it's all right. It's all right. Do what you look. <laughs> flowers grow through mud. Okay. Here, you better come with flowers. We got your great, beautiful, five, beautiful rug. Okay, <laughs> you gotta grow through that mud. Oh I yeah. I gotta remember that. I was in the trenches. <laughs> it was a good workout though. Amazing. Thank you so much. I will see you next week. See you next week. My time is done. 
I ain't gonna press you too much on this school stuff just right now. But I'm gonna press you next week. All right. Press, 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 press. Um. So. this in a while i forgot how good it tastes oh my god mm. Mm. Ooh. oh my god y'all i'm really not in the mood to um run any kind of errand i just want to go home and take a nap but once again, that's my fault. Just crappy preparation. Um, my phone was on silent, and then not only that, it fell. So when my alarm went off, I didn't even hear it. <laughs> I woke up at 7.40 something. Yeah, and I was supposed to be up by six. <laughs> And I feel like that's been happening a lot lately. Like, I keep oversleeping. And it's like, my alarm? Who? Where? What is that? <laughs> um, and it's like, it's so weird because I've always been like that. Like, ooh. Um, it's always like a certain time period in the year when it's like I stop hearing my alarm. Um, and I remember I used to be late for work. And it's like, I don't know what's going on. Like, my body would get so used to hearing it. It would just stop hearing it. <laughs> um, so, I feel like that's the phase that we're in now. So, my solution to that used to be my Alexa alarm. But, because it's, it's excruciatingly loud. Um, because I was the only thing that used to work. But, I remember even that, I used to be, like, delayed. And my neighbor used to be banging on my, my window. Not my window, on my wall. Girl, turn that alarm off. I felt so bad, but <sighs> that's why I couldn't get up. Um, and I'm not trying to go back to that life because it was it used to startle me awake. Like, and I'd be so startled I couldn't remember the word Alexa. So it's like I would be like frazzled and I could not remember how to make the alarm. <laughs> My life sounds insane. This story sounds insane, <laughs> but um. Yeah, I ordered a new perfume and I'm going to pick it up now. I accidentally ordered it for pickup. Very ghetto. <laughs> like, ugh. so I'm going to go and do that. Um, and while I'm there, I did want to go to the TJ Maxx <laughs> that was over there, anyways, in Buckhead. So we're just gonna knock it all out at once. Oh, there's a UPS store here. I have hella returns to do. So after I run these errands, I have to go home, prep all my packages, and then do those returns. I'm doing everything today. I don't know where I'm gonna find the energy. I'm gonna have to chug a Red Bull or something, but I need to get those done today because I've been procrastinating way too long. And I had a Nordstrom return. I could have done that. Can't you do Nordstrom returns at Nordstrom Rack? I'm playing, bro. I'm playing. I'm not living life right. But because I woke up late, how could I live life right? I didn't have time. Um, anyways, child. At this point, I feel like I say that in every vlog. Like, girl, <laughs> get it together. But, yeah. So, I guess I'll see y'all when I'm at Nordstrom. Oh, shit. <gasps> and I missed some stuff. Freaking turn. Oh, my God. Blood clot idiot. Well, let me keep going. Oh. And just like that, she's in traffic now. <laughs> These parking spots are hella tight. Like, 
why are they so close together? <sighs> I'm sad. Someone just told me I look cute. Silence. But I keep pushing my pen and rotating my stylus. Brokenness feeling like sin, not no breath, low dollar. Used to be left on red, now all the girls go holler. Now all the girls go follow. All the fake fans gon' pile up. I need peace to borrow, get that shit right back tomorrow. Somehow all the fans go viral. It's not so much to hide my sorrow. Faith is shaky in Verado. I can't hold the crowd too long. I can't stay down too long. Oh, I can tell you my problems, I can tell you my sins, I can tell you my problems, I'm uncomfortable in my skin, I'm uncomfortable with my hands, I'm uncomfortable with my friends, I'm uncomfortable with my drinking, I'm uncomfortable with my thinking, I'm uncomfortable with my ways, I'm uncomfortable in this space, I'm uncomfortable with good days, I'm uncomfortable with bad days, I'm uncomfortable with my soul, I'm uncomfortable with my heart, I'm uncomfortable with myself, I'm uncomfortable with my heart, I'm uncomfortable with my thoughts, I'm I'm comfortable with my feelings, and sadly I'm uncomfortable with healing. Y'all, they were so sweet in there. I was recognized by one of the associates, but uh, they were so nice. I just love nice people. Oh my god, this makes my day. <laughs> Silence. But I keep pushing my pen, rotating my silence. Broken is feeling like sin, not no breath, no dollar. Used to be left on red, now all the girls go holler. Now all the girls go follow, all the fake fans gon' pile up. I need peace to borrow, get that shit right back tomorrow. Somehow all the fans go bravo, smile so much to hide my sorrow. Faith is shaky in Verado. I'm not gonna lie, I definitely thought that TJ Maxx would be a lot better. I don't know if I caught it at an off time. Uh, if they just had a sale and everybody took all the goodies, but ooh, <laughs> my it was not given. Mushroom Rack had some cute shades. I popped over to Saks off Fifth as well. I really love that they are all just here together because, like, this is like my ideal little shopping excursion. All the um the offs and the racks and the discounted things um but yeah i got some really cute items and, um, that i can't wait to wear out i am on my way home yo i keep getting so many compliments on this set like oh my god look at how blacks get me right and it's so funny because when I was getting dressed, I was literally thinking like, damn, like, you know, they keep putting out new collections and new things. And it's just like, I, will I ever be able to find a set that's great again? Like the fit is great. The color is great. I like that it's sexy. It has like a little cleavage situation. I mean, clearly for me, it's not high impact. <laughs> um, but it's, it's cute impact. <laughs> um, 
but yeah like wow like the girls are being so nice today i love it I'm gonna go home grab a quick lunch room and get to work i perked up a little bit doing all that walking and stuff so i'm not as like sleepy and dead feeling like i was before i feel better so i think that protein shake definitely helped um once again i did not have a substantial breakfast i need i i seriously need to meal prep my breakfast like i think if i don't meal prep any other meal i need to meal prep my breakfast and i'm just i'm not a fan of the overnight oats i just i need to start making like breakfast sandwiches i think i saw um my friend nay I think I saw that Nay made um, breakfast sandwiches and she just freezes them and whenever she's ready to eat them she just pops in the microwave and then she's good to go so I might have to start doing that or like egg bites because um, I'm trying to stay away from like the sweet breakfast bars because um, that's an easy way to rack up on sugar honestly and I'm trying to chill because I feel like if I'm gonna have sugar like I want to enjoy like ice cream or something like not no freaking oatmeal bite like <laughs> if I'm gonna have sugar I want to be an ice cream or cake or something delicious not like a little breakfast situation like I can just make a breakfast sandwich um but yeah anyways on the way home my knee was acting up for sure like even going down the steps i'm like yo like this is actually kind of wild so i definitely need to look into a physical therapist somebody i need to find somebody <sighs> it's not gonna be a top soon though <laughs> it's really not because i have a lot coming up right now i don't have the downtime to give but eventually i'm gonna get my life together just you know give me a couple weeks <laughs> let me love you let me love me love you Oh, there's a Marshalls here. No. No. We have work to do. I was so disappointed by that TJ Maxx, y'all. Like, if I had the time, I really would go to Marshalls to make up for it. <laughs> but that's okay, because I have a lot of work to do. I'm looking forward to recording, so let me just go home. Also, I tried that face wash. Um... That sister girl recommended it's gonna pass by Sephora. That sister girl recommended it. It burned the heck out of my eyes. Like, girl. And if you're gonna be selling something as a great makeup remover, and you're telling me that I can't even put on my eyes, be for real. Because that's where I feel like, oh my God, Jesus. If you can't get rid of this waterproof mascara, then what what is what is even your purpose? Like, ah, do I need this lane? Oh shoot, I do. Oh, baby. Oh, babes, babes, babes. Please let me through. Love you. Thank you, darling. Oh, everyone is so nice today. <laughs> they didn't even fight it. They just let me. <laughs> oh. But yeah, ooh, child, that face wash? Uh-uh. But I really like the texture of the body serum. So I've been using it on my elbows. The thing about it though, cause and I be, I, peep, that people have been commenting on my elbows lately. Listen, honey. Listen, listen, Linda. Listen, Linda. Yes, my elbows are dark, but even with all the product that I use, they're gonna stay dark because I'm always on them. So that's what lined up my knees. Stop being on my knees <laughs> all the time. I mean, every time I say that, it just never sounds right. Not like that. <laughs> Though you know what? Not doing that helps too. <laughs> but like when I'm like eating or I'm just my elbows are always on the table like no matter what I'm doing and I oh shit I keep getting the wrong freaking lane <sighs> um crap else oh you're not gonna be nice you're not gonna be through all right cool whatever one thing about me I'm gonna stay here and wait in traffic until they let me in be an a-hole if you want oh are you oh my god are you Y'all want me to stay here forever? Just say that. Like, <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I could cry. Yeah, I've really been enjoying the texture of the the body, the 
yeah the body serum um and it has like all these like good things in it it actually reminds me of my agency formula um that i was using they were like a sister company to curology i was working with them for a little bit and they had like the Trinexa, I don't know, but they had all the really good stuff to help get your skin together. So I used that and I put my moisturizer on top last night. When I say my skin was giving butter, it was giving butter, okay? Now the face wash, uh, um, I can't even say if it worked well on my skin or not because once it doesn't work for the eyes, automatically it's a no for me because I need to really like get into the, like, the lashes to really get all that product out. So if you can't do that, honey, you need to be out the dough, out the dough, okay? Um, so that's going back for sure. But that serum, yeah, I'm gonna keep my eye out. I really thought about just putting it on one elbow. Cause I feel like that's how you really see a difference when you do one side and not the other. But I also don't want to be walking around looking crazy. Because what if it really does make a huge difference? And now I got one dark elbow and one light one. I got a light skin friend look like Michael Jackson. Got a dark skin friend look like Michael Jackson. <sighs> so maybe I'll just do like um, before and after pictures. I want to try and use it consistently for like two weeks and see if there's a difference. Okay, I'm trying to be consistent mommy, all right? <sighs> Even though it's so boring. <laughs> um, but yeah, so on the way home, I will talk to you guys probably like later tonight because I'm about to just go ahead with the work. I have to edit and I have to record. And then I have a task rabbit coming to put like my wall print up. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I forgot about him, Loki. So I gotta prep for that. Ooh, the Haitian me is like, oh, I need to like, I need to like vacuum underneath the couch, <laughs> like little things like that. Just prepare for him to come. But anyways, it's already like 1:30 now. My goodness, and he's coming at six. So that gives me a very, very small frame of time because editing is already gonna take out the biggest chunk of that. Oh, so I'm probably not gonna record until after he leaves. Ooh, child, it's gonna be a long say. Eight hours later. Baby, when I tell y'all I am starving, I literally haven't eaten since um, breakfast this morning because I've been doing like admin stuff and I'm um, planning out my content for the next month and a half. <laughs> Fun fact, I'm, I always plan out my content at least a month ahead, right? So I mean, I already had August and most of september solidified um but for first of all i had to move some things around based on the arrival of some packages and also i went ahead and started planning for october as well <laughs> one thing about jimmy what she gonna plan okay i started planning for videos and stuff that i have coming up in the next couple of weeks like she don't get together I mean, i look like it in my content <laughs> but jimmy but is a planner okay <laughs> I need something super quick in my stomach right now because it's eating itself. <laughs> da, 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 da. Ooh, oh yeah. This is the one. This is the one right here. I am so thankful and so grateful to Factor for sponsoring this portion of the video. When I tell you guys that Factor is a lifesaver. <laughs> Like, they really factored in the fact that they would be saving my life, okay? Because times like this, I'm starving. And y'all know, I have to be in the mood to cook. <laughs> like, and I'm not in the mood right now. I just want something quick in my stomach so that I can get straight back to work. And factors gonna do it for me every time, honey. So if you're a busy bee like me, if you're on the go like me, try out factor for yourself, okay? I can tell y'all, like, y'all need to try them out. So this is the blackened tofu mm, with Cajun broccoli, peppers, 
and vegan roumelade. <laughs> oh man, I can't wait to get this. I just know it's gonna be good. They have over 34 meals to pick from, so you're never tired, you're never bored, you're never eating the same thing unless you want to, but they have plenty of options, including snacks and add-ons, even breakfast. They literally have you for every meal of the day. So why not enjoy? Why not partake? Okay? Instead of ordering takeout and waiting an hour, an hour and a half, two hours, all you have to do is microwave the food. I'm about to put it on for two minutes. Maybe two and a half if I'm feeling frisky. If I feel like I got extra time to spend. <laughs> and my food's gonna be ready. In five minutes, I'm gonna be full. <laughs> I'll be scarfing that food down, baby. Okay? Listen, it's a little embarrassing. But I'll be hunched over. <laughs> y'all have seen it. Like, that is so embarrassing. But yeah, y'all have seen it. Okay? So I'm telling y'all. Try it out for yourself. Okay? And it's definitely helpful because you guys know I'm... I'm trying to get back into my my wellness era so making better decisions that are good for my body instead of getting like junk food or fried food whatever the case may be i'm definitely gonna go that route especially when it's delicious you making it easy for me i love when you make it easy for me delicious and nutritious okay that is my motto so go ahead and try it out for yourself go to factor75.com or click the link down below and use code mr 50 for 50 percent off your first box once again, that's factor75.com or click the link down below and use code MISSIONMIMA50 to get 50% off of your first factor box. 50%! Don't say I ain't put you on, baby. Don't say I ain't do it. Okay? Listen. Now, I've never had the blackened tofu before. And I'm not gonna lie, it looks real good with Cajun broccoli. Cajun broccoli? I don't know, I feel like that's so spicy. Like, y'all make a Cajun broccoli? Ooh. <laughs> I tell you, I'm so hungry. Like, oh. I'm about to tear this up. Man, I'm telling you. I've also never had this, is that remoulade, remoulade? This remoulade, I think that's how you say it. So hopefully it's good. I don't always use dipping sauces. Oh, 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 they got seasoning in this. I don't know what this is, but it, Oh, my meals are vegan, by the way. The fact that that's vegan, that's gonna go perfectly with the uh, Cajun broccoli. All right. Oh, yum. Oh, it smells good. It smells so good. Ooh, wait. <laughs> I'm so dramatic. But I promise you, is that sweet potato? Yum. Okay, and filling. Love to see it. Ooh. Yeah, I'm really gonna like this. I already can tell. Look at that. Look it. I can already tell I'm gonna like this. Da, 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 da. Okay. Oh, and quinoa. Oh, this is so filling. Okay. Oh, I love that. Why did I do this so ugly? You know when you're hungry and you just can't wait to make anything cute? Like, why did I set y'all up like this? Should we make it a little better? Like, mmm. Look at that. Quinoa corn. Mmm. Okay. Okay. We got a Cajun broccoli. Yeah. 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 Y'all, I'm so sorry. I don't just play a cute. But when I tell you, oh, what is this? Is that potato or like? Oh my God, it was an onion. Y'all know I love onions. But like, look at this little tiny onion. What? What is that? Oh, it's so cute, but so delicious. 
Mm. Oh no. Is this my favorite vegan? No, I don't know. That vegan chili be hitting. But I'm like, just from the ingredients, I can tell this is gonna be a fave. Like, look. Look at that. It's factor supporting my, my wellness journey for me. <laughs> okay. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I knew it. I'm gonna drizzle some of the remoulade. <laughs> Mmm. Hold on. This is so not cute. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought I was gonna, I was gonna drizzle it. Real chef like. Yeah, it's not. It didn't come out that way. <laughs> okay. Let's try it with the the sauce. Oh, I did that. Wait. Is that the tofu? So first I was like, wait, am I chewing sausage or something or some kind of meat? No, the texture of the tofu is hidden in this. Wow. I think this might be my favorite. I'm not gonna lie. Mmm. Mmm. The texture of the tofu is high key even like meat. That's crazy. Mmm. How do that? Hey, yo, Factor. Y'all doing something. Y'all doing something over there. I don't know who y'all got in the kitchen. But tell Chef I said thank you. <laughs> Thank you. No, honestly though, this is actually like perfect. This is perfect. I think this is my favorite meal. Mmm. My favorite vegan meal. Mmm. I told y'all in the last vlog, the vegans, the vegans ain't eating bad. They're not living bad. They like the juiciness and the onions. Mmm. No, this is fire. And that sauce. Just add to it. Mm. Mm hmm. Delish. Mm. Crushed. Eight and left no crumbs. Literally. Four plus four. Eight. Toe up. <laughs> I'm dead. Oh, Chile. Oh, Chile. Y'all. <laughs> okay. Let me gather myself, child, because discombobulated is not even the word. Oh y'all <laughs> um so after i had my dinner last night i don't think i vlogged for the rest of the night um i just worked i filmed i recorded a tiktok i just did like work stuff and then took a shower and while i was in the shower my friend called was like oh hey i'm in town just landed like you know like was good as you go outside. I was like, I'm not outside, I'm inside. But you know, if you want company, y'all join. <laughs> so he was like, Let me get let me get settled in, I'll hit you up later. Um I didn't know if he was legit or not, so I went ahead and did my my nighttime routine. <laughs> Put on PJs and got in the bed. <laughs> and he called me, he was like, Yeah, I'm about to get something to eat, maybe do some hookah afterwards, blah blah. So I had to get up, get dressed, get ready, all that stuff. And I went out. Be 
Um, so I didn't get home till like we left at three. I didn't get home to like four. Um and I forgot. I didn't it's like I forgot, but I didn't forget. But also, you know, I'm in that time of year when I just don't hear my alarm. I hate when I go through that. But um, because on weekends I'm supposed to be about nine anyways, like I mean, me for real, when I'm out, I'm like, all right, ten. Um, but I naturally like was like mm -hmm, around ten, right? And I was like, oh shoot, I forgot I had an appointment this morning at ten ten. Girl, I hopped out the bed so fast, hopped up out the bed, turned my swag on. <laughs> <laughs> oh man i hopped out the bed so fast when i tell y'all i just brushed my teeth threw on sunscreen didn't wash my face didn't wash my coochie i still got yesterday's coochie on right now i still got yesterday's coochie on but at least my birth don't stink <laughs> threw on some clothes it was out the door i only go out in my little uggs <laughs> but um Y'all know I'm going on a trip soon, okay? I didn't get my travel stuff ready, so I'm waiting for my prescription now. Because one thing about it, Jamima going to get sick overseas. <laughs> Jamima's going to be sick out of town, okay? I'm out of town, thugging with my rounds. My body's sick. My booty hole brown. <laughs> Y'all don't mind me. So, yeah, I just had... My appointment, I got a vaccine. I said, sis, I came in for one thing, but if y'all got extras, because one thing about me, I will get sick. Y'all don't know the times I've gotten sick and I just didn't tell y'all or didn't blog or whatever. Like, always get sick from something and uh, whatever. Anyways, I had to be a big girl and get a shot. And I have to be a big girl and drink pills. Oh, gosh. All this because I, I refuse to stay inside. Shout out to ghetto. Anyways, they said it's going to take like at least 20, 30 minutes for the CVS to kind of get their things together. Um, and it is, what time is it now? I think I might go to Chipotle. Because, yeah. I'm going to go to Chipotle. I need to pass the time anyway, so I might as well grab lunch. Um, and then I'll come back here, pick up my stuff, and go home. This was not the plan for today. I was supposed to already be up, running errands. <clears throat> this was just one stop on the list. But also, I didn't have plans to go out last night, though, so there's that. Um, but, yeah, I have a lot of work today. So... And this vlog gonna be boring and dry because I'm telling you right now, so we've got to work today. So I'm not about to be on the phone, on the camera, kiki with y'all 24 seven, honey. Uh, 24 hours. I gotta go. I gotta leave. Please don't make it hard for me. Thank you, sir. Um, y'all yeah, take brown rice, black beans. Chicken. Uh, no queso, please. Oh, no queso. Sorry. <laughs> um, can I have everything except sour cream and cheese? Chicken spicy today. Hello. <laughs> You're still hungry, like you know you're not satisfied with the act of like lifting the fork to your mouth, 
chewing and then swallowing like sometimes it feels so cumbersome and I don't I don't know why that is I don't know why that is but like a quarter to the meal girl turn the car on <laughs> it's me trying to shift gears with the car still off but um I I just uh I lost my steam a quarter into the meal, but I tried, honey. I tried. Cause I don't have to eat when I get home. And I just pay for food here, you know? Like, I'm good. Good morning, gems. Um Oh, I vlogged yesterday morning. Okay, yeah. So yesterday morning when I was at the um, lay clinic. <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> the doctor was like, are you going to faint? Because <laughs> I had got a, a shot for a vaccine. And I was like, oh. <laughs> she was like, do you need to lay down? She was a small little thing. I was just worried about girls are you faint. I can't catch you and I can't help you up. So <laughs> I was like, girl, you fine. I'm just a little dramatic, but I'm not gonna faint. I never faint in my life. Okay, so I I made this hydration mix yesterday that I didn't drink. <laughs> because by the time I got around to it, I'm like, I drank this. I have like um the caffeine none in it so i said it's gonna keep me up so i'm just gonna go ahead and save it for today so that's what we're gonna do so i'm just gonna add my oxy shredder stuff to it and just shake them there and hope that actually let me taste it because i've actually never tried that particular none tablet and the last time i tried a none tablet with caffeine it was nasty so i'm not about to ruin a whole It's tolerable. Yeah, okay, it's fine. Um, I'm just gonna add my usual goodies to glutamine. Acetyl L carnitine. Yeah, watch me find out I'm just saying all this wrong my entire life. Like, and I still can never get over how cute this little baby scoop is. Like, ugh. She's just so cute. And then, we're going to do a lychee today? Why not? Why not? That's a lychee daiquiri. Okay, so we're not doing lychee today. Actually, we're just going to throw lychee out. I'm trying to find it for my life. Apparently, <clears throat> if they stay in one spot too long, they get like rock hard, like literally like, let me show y'all. Rock hard, like. <laughs> it's not expired, it's just that the moisture in there has kind of like been sucked out. And they say you can like dry blend it to kind of like mix it up again. But I'm like, how do you even get it out? I have another one that started drying up it's not as bad as the lychee but i just i can't believe the, the lychee flavor is the first one i've ever purchased so i've had it over a long time oh but this one this one's getting there like and y'all know when i'm off my stuff i don't move this i don't shake it so it just sits in a cabinet where's the knife i was using it just sits in the cabinet child just struggling just a struggle but yeah, oh yeah, this one's oh this one's much easier to penetrate. So this one actually has a chance. At some point, I'm going to um, empty this out and um, dry blend it, so it'll be as good as new. Oh yeah, the leech one just gotta go. I had another year before it expired, but it's not right. And then I looked online to see if they sold it anymore, and I don't think they do. So that's it for that flavor. But it is what it is. It's probably my fault because 
I like variety. I, I get tired of drinking and doing. I get tired of doing anything over and over and over again, um, including flavors. But these are like 60 servings in a thing. So that's two months of you taking it every day. First of all, I'm gonna take every day. So you can imagine how long these last for me. Um, but I'm, that might just have to be a sacrifice that I make because baby, drinking the same thing every single day. Oh my God, I'll get so bored and so tired of it. <laughs> oh my God. What a life, such a hard life. I have to drink the same thing every day? Uh. <laughs> and people are literally dying. <laughs> oh God. Ooh. I'm like, what is, I keep, the candle's right there. And still, I keep thinking like, what am I smelling? <laughs> I'm burning Scented Hibiscus's Sunday Spa Candle. It's giving all the vibes. It's giving all the vibes. Last but not least, we're gonna add this probiotic. So this is a new one that I'm trying out. This one is completely like flavorless. The other ones have like a little bit of like a strawberry something. Like a little something to add a little something. You know what I mean? This one has nothing. Like literally I mixed it in water the other day because I feel like doing a whole mix. And I still want to get my probiotic in. And it tastes like nothing. So if that's your vibe, that's your zhuzh. Look out for this one. So far, I like it. Um, I'm going to link it down below, but I want to spend like another week of using this just alone to really make sure that it's like doing what I need it to do. So, oh, ice. Ice, 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 ice. Anyway, shout out. I really just wanted to show y'all my, um, my new bowls. <laughs> I need everything. Okay, so I caved <laughs> and I just ended up replacing the pan that was messed up anyways. I got a new caraway pan. I just couldn't find a set that I loved as much as I love these, you know, and that's just that on that. Now, did I really take the time to really dig deep and search? No, but I did it deep enough and I it was finding what I need to find. So I said, whatever, let me just get the sets because I just, <laughs> nobody matches the vibes. So... I guess I might have to just replace this one every year because this is my most used to set a pen. Um, and plus this one came with like a, a cleansing, a cleaning eraser. I don't remember getting with my original package. But like, yeah, apparently this helps remove stains. This would have been real useful for my first pen because I had like a little ring of roni around here. So I'm so happy that I got this. I also ordered their mini fry pan which is perfect for like just frying up an egg real quick. Um, but that's not being shipped out until next month. I don't know if they're, they're back ordered or backed up, sorry, or pre-ordered. I'm not sure exactly what it was, but I just know it's not coming anytime soon. And then I also got their caraway pan set. I was like, not pan set, <laughs> the bowl set. This was a little extra, I know, but I wanted a different storage set than the one I had before. Because while it works, I was really tired of having to like, um, it's just the, the tops, the little, the clip on thing that makes it super secure. Love that idea, but the washing of the dish is very annoying. That might be the case for these two. These are actually very heavy. These are glass. Is this glass or like ceramic? These are a lot heavier than I thought they were going to be. Um, but they're so pretty, they match, they fit the vibes, high quality. So I'm just like, it is what it is, you know? Um, and I just, I just love how everything matches. It's so cute. So I need to figure out how I'm gonna store this. They do come with their own um, little thingies, like the, the pot set do, their little storage situation. I feel like that's super cute. They have the regular. This is the medium, I believe. Oh, I'm gonna take these out. So, this is the medium container. Pop that in here. Boom. Cute storage. And this is the small. All these have a cleansing, uh, cleaning bar too. I don't know why I wanna say cleansing eraser. <laughs> There's a cleaning bar in there as well. So this is a small container and then okay so this says 
dot and dash inserts. Like, I feel like these are like little salad dressing cups or something. Like, how cute is this? Ugh. I love a good set. This is so adorbs. Like, come on. Come on. I guess you just pop them into your containers. Like, you're making a salad or something. You want to keep something separate. Like, how cute is this? So cute. Oh my God. This set straps. Oh, I'm not even sure what these are for, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. These are quite literally straps. I guess maybe they go around the bowl, or maybe you want multiple bowls together. You strap these on. I already threw the box away, so I just thought just Google or something what the purpose of these are. But I just love that I still have a cute, aesthetically pleasing pot set, and now I have a cute bowl set. Um, I saw this girl's meal prepping video and I was like dying over it. And she had this other bowl set, hold on, which I purchased. I was kind of disappointed. Girl, where's the set? Ah. Uh -uh. Where did I the set? Did I wash it? Oh, I washed it. Girl. <laughs> so I saw these on Amazon. I'm not gonna lie, I thought they were gonna be bigger. Um, but they do come by out, so they said like, 20 ounce, 10 ounce, blah, blah. So I saw 20, I thought I was gonna be like a little bigger, but I mean, it's fine. I thought this is a, a decent sized bowl. They're silicone and they came like this in a set. And this is the last one and they, oh, I lied. There's a smaller one after that. But um, yeah, and they all have their own tops and stuff. And it's just, it's just a little easier for me than what I was working with before. And I like that this is like malleable. Also, I think they're all, this is like freezer and microwave safe and dishwasher safe. Oh, this is just microwave. No, this is freezer safe too. This doesn't say anything about dishwasher. I think the caraway ones are for sure. I think I could have sworn it says top rack. Um, but either way, I just, you know, it was time for me to upgrade, get quality pieces, leave the BPA behind. <laughs> And they match, like how cute. These words are very similar in tone and everything is just a vibe. I love that for me. I was watching somebody and their video, they like opened their cabinet and there was like nothing in their cabinet. They had like maybe one or two things that all this was empty. And I was like, I'm so jealous of you girlies that don't have anything in your kitchen because I feel like I could never have enough storage. Now, now that I'm looking, I don't want y'all to see, why do I have 15 cabinets full of cups? That's my problem. No, let's talk about it. That's really my problem. Jimmy, you are a bottle hoarder. You are. And it might be time to let that go because you want cute, you want aesthetic, you want a cute way to store your plates in your storage containers, and you don't have any because all you have are bottles of bottles. Like your life is ridiculous. Jimmy, you are ridiculous. You don't even use these anymore. Now since you got your little, um, ever since I got this, I have not touched any other bottle except this one. Like, I, oh God, I hate to say the words, but it might be time for me to do a purge because there are many bottles in here that I am no longer using. I have upgraded my life in many ways in many ways and that needs to be shown like this purple plastic situation up here you can go you can go like you can go um you can go you can go i don't remember the last my user but you're so cute and you're nice to look at and that's my problem i have so many smaller bottles i don't even use those smaller bottles <sighs> that's not a task for today though i promise you it's not and like over here my collection of Starbucks cups that I rarely use now. You know, when I first started collecting these cups, it was so that I can go to work with my coffee in hand and be cute. Do you remember now you work in the house and you drink out of glasses? So, what, what are the vibes right now? What are the vibes? Because you don't drink from them in the house. Not ever since you got your little cup, your little insulated cup. Now you a bougie bitch. And what are you gonna do with your Starbucks cups? 
I'm like, I, I need to really sit down and figure out what I'm going to purge. Man, the fall cleaning that will take place in this home. It's gonna go crazy, it is. Um, for some reason, I was up at 4 a.m. Like I went to bed whatever around midnight. I woke up at four and I was like, okay, I'm pretty awake. Why not just get up and be productive? Boom, so I did. Um, I went to the closet room and I started purging. I started purging. That's a dream month. It's fall. <laughs> it's fall and I, you, you told yourself, you have all these little cute little summer things. If you don't wear them, you need to get rid of them. And it's not like they're not cute anymore. It's not that they're not appealing to you anymore. But if you have gone the past year and a half without wearing them, because you didn't wear them last year, let's get rid of them. Because once again, there's always an influx of clothes coming in. You need to have just as much energy in the clothes coming out, okay? So the thrift store is about to be living this week. Um, Cause like I said, I already started purging. Um, like I have summer clothes in bins that I was supposed to unbox for the summer, but I never did because I didn't need to. That's crazy. For the most part, I'm really grateful that you guys like understand the toll that the constant hauls have. Um, like I said, I have a bunch of hauls coming up. You're still gonna get all that content, but um, after that, like I'm going to slow, like I'm going to slow down and it's, <laughs> I feel like someone's gonna hurt me to do so because now it's so like instinctive like oh I see something cute boom let me start planning a haul but I am working on slowing down on YouTube because I need more balance you know but yeah somebody was like oh, once again another YouTuber that that doesn't know that that doesn't realize that um, the halls or how they got to where they were where they are blah 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 uh, I'm just like do you think you know more about my YouTube and my analytics and my growth strategy than me <laughs> do you think you know more about my platform than me one and two don't you leave your job don't you leave your position don't you promote within your, your company or to another job? But me, I have to say this in the same exact role, in the same exact job, just because you want me to? You don't think your boss wants you to stay in your last role when you left? Or were you fired? I don't know. Either way, you don't think that people want you to stay in your job? You have the freedom to get up and do what you want to do, to change, to shift. I don't. I have to stay in a prison, in a trap, in a cage. But I was like, you know what, every time I feel like that comment wants to, mm, I think of all the really, really understanding ones. Actually, y'all were a lot more understanding than I even anticipated. And it really, it really warmed my soul. So like I said, I ain't never going to stop the hall completely because it's just not in me. <laughs> it's just not in me. It's just not. But I do need to slow down and I need to be more intentional about the pieces that I buy because part of the reason why I was so into hauls is because I felt like there was such a lack of clothing options. And even now when I was going through my closet, I'm like, my goodness, Jamima, the reason you hold on to so many things, the reason you try to make so many things work, you try to be like, oh, okay, well, maybe I'll like, if I do this, or I can wear this like this, or I can force this like this, or maybe I put a sweat over here, you can't see that's too short. Like, you have all this because you're so used to not having Ooh, I'm about to preach. Hold on. I'm about to give you a word. You're so used to always being in the need and to just take whatever you can get that it's carrying on even though that, that is no longer the case. Yes, the plus size fashion world is still nowhere near where it can be. But let's face it, Jimmy, but the struggle that you had to find a pair of slacks six years ago that's not the struggle that you have today. If I need some slacks, I know exactly where I'm going. Nordstrom Rack, maybe even Nordstrom. Torrid, Lane Bryant. It may not be in the price range that I want to be in, 
but I know I'm gonna find some black slacks as opposed to before I was like oh first of all I had no money so I was like dang where can I get something decent and then I had nothing to cover the shelf I can even get black slacks from Fashion Nova like ain't that crazy <laughs> so it's like Jamima, you you can stop trying to find every single pair of black slacks in the world and then holding on to every single pair because you don't know whenever you're gonna find them again is not that deep now if it's a special piece of course but i find that i i hold on to a lot of not special pieces that i don't love simply because i can finally fit them but any, hold on anyways that's my time i've been wrapped i've been preaching uh come back for service next week <laughs> Yellow. So the task rabbit just came back and he helped me put in the frames that finally came in. Oh, did I tell you about that? About how they said it was delivered and it wasn't. So we ended up having to put the frames up as as it was. Um, but they showed up the next day, so he was able to come back and help me put them. But there's another issue <laughs> because even though it said it was the same size, it's actually not. If you look closely, you'll see that there's like a frame and then like the rim of the actual painting there because it's actually not the same size it's too big <laughs> but i'll be damned damned if i don't put these up also they're kind of uneven i think um one of them the middle one is misplaced also <laughs> the frame that naturally comes into this um frame like there's like the wooden frame and then there's a the white frame that's inside on this one is cream and on these it's white i don't know if you guys can tell the difference in color the tones i don't know what that's about but <laughs> oh and i think it's because you know each pack each set came with two and i needed three so i ordered two different ones and i guess one of them was cream color and the other one was white so uh, i was like damn like come on <sighs> It's not perfect, um, but it'll do, it'll do. It'll do, y'all. When I tell y'all, stressing me out, but overall, the living room is coming together. Um, I definitely need to work on the pillows and decor and stuff, like I said. I want to get the big pieces down before I start working on the little things. And um, that's how it's going so far. One of the reasons why I want to move from this place is because there's always a freaking power outage. The girls love to come for me for the clock that's always blinking because every time I fix it, the power goes out and it resets. Like I'm, I'm so sorry for my OCD girls, but like I'm not about to be killing myself trying to fix a damn clock every time the power goes out in this place. And it's always going out. Like, oh my God. Like I remember one time we were out of town I came back, all the lights in my apartment were on. And I was like, what the heck is going on? Every time the power goes off, the lamps that I bought cut on and stay on. <laughs> and it's so, it's so annoying because I'm out of town. I don't know how long these, these lights have been on 24-7 while I'm gone. Like, running on my light bill. Oh my God. Anyway, shout. I also tried to buy sunglasses organizers. And I thought these were stackable. They said that these are stackable, but they're actually not because the sunglasses, as you can see, they show or they come up off the top. So I can't stack them on top of each other. So I just wasted all that money trying to um, find a space saving way to organize my sunglasses. So now I have to figure out how I'm going to do that because I have very limited space and my sunglasses collection is growing. Okay. I've been really enjoying sunglasses as of late. Um, it's my newest favorite accessory, and I'm not going to stop. <laughs> I'm not going to stop, honey. Okay, because it's giving diva. What they say, she ain't no diva. I'm a, a diva. I'm a, I'm a, a diva. Yeah, I'm a diva. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to the girls I was supposed to be on today this weekend. <laughs> I'm jealous. <sighs> Shout out to the girls that have friends. Can't relate. Quick candle update. 
you guys know I was burning this candle earlier. I decided to add this one. Actually, I don't even like this candle. I bought this to exchange and I just ended up not doing it. <laughs> but I added this um, candle to this one because I wanted to add some fruitiness to it. Kind of wake me up. I just want to say that this has been burning all day since this morning. And look at how much has burned. Mind you, this is my first time burning this one. And a good chunk of it is already gone. And I started burning this one after. Um... I want to say maybe like two hours after two three hours but like look at the difference this one is still going strong honey first burn for that one come on shout out to scented hibiscus and this one is uh all the natural good for you stuff this all the chemical stuff <laughs> shout out to scented hibiscus for holding her own okay we love a quality candle yes like literally worth every coin it's been burning all day you can smell it all in the main living area and it's just like bro barely anything is gone it's gonna last me forever forever this is not gonna make it past tomorrow <laughs> love that for me i also went ahead and put my purses up i also did a small reorganization i didn't show you guys because i was doing this at four in the morning <laughs> And baby, I was not about to wipe the crust out of my eyes to come on camera. But um, yeah, I took some purses out. So it's like the collection grew, but also it got smaller. It's just more tailored to me now. Um, some of my cheaper bags, like my Shein bags and stuff, I have replaced for more quality bags. And I'm excited to see it. Love to see it. Y'all know my Delina finished while I was on travel. So I took my full size and put it in my travel stuff. So I had to go back into my, my stash and pull out my full size new joint unbox that and put it right here because she was missed she was missed yeah she was missed i was tripping because i was like wait a minute where's my perfume that lets you know i have not worn delina since i went to maryland since i came back <gasps> that's a long time for me because i was obsessed obsessed but now i have a new obsession which you guys have seen which is the transcend the fluid project mixed with baldafuic and i'm like i feel like for as often as I've been wearing this perfume, that for that, all that to be gone, this is nothing. I've been wearing the heck out of this. Um, and then sometimes I've been topping it with the Burberry, her elixir. Ooh, relax. Chill, now, chill, chill, honey. With the Burberry, her elixir. That's her right here. But yeah. Per love the collection love to see it y'all keep asking for a collection video i i'm not really a collection video kind of girl like it's just so much what i do just show you here's a bag i don't even know i i don't think i'm gonna do one y'all i'm sorry but so i'm just like first of all i don't remember all the details for these bags just know my collection is amazon neiman's thrift store out the country like different country oh my god i I back to mexico haiti i cannot wait i still haven't worn my clutches yet these are made in haiti this was a gift to me from <gasps> oh no <laughs> this was sent to me from my friend machilia i cannot wait to wear this clutch like the the craftsmanship the beading oh she is stunning like stunning and so is this one I cannot wait to wear these out. Like, ugh. Zara. Um, Mirta. Like, I had this one made um, and purchased this from Mirta. Ugh. I mean, this is such a beautiful bag. Beautiful bag. I wore her once. I need to wear her out again. But I feel like it's such a bag. You can't wear her with just anything. You have to... You have to have on a fit, okay? Like an owl fit. Okay, a look. Yeah. But yeah, so I don't think I'm gonna do a full collection video. Maybe, I don't know, we'll think about it. We'll think about it. But um, yeah, actually I meant to replace this one. But the purse I bought isn't the same shade. Like I, I really enjoy coach bags, but I feel like this one just looks a little dingy and cheap looking. Um. Especially for Coach. Like, if this is from Shein, I'd be like, okay, cool. Um, it's a little... Actually, no, it's not that far off. So, I don't know. 
I actually replaced this bag with um, this Kurt Geiger bag that I purchased recently. Like, beautiful girl, quality, but not the same shade. <laughs> But that's okay though, because I have an outfit that I have this purse for and shoes and all that. So I kind of would have preferred for this to be like silver detailing, but I just love Kurt Geiger. Like I have like 20 of his bags. It's actually kind of ridiculous. I have some in my cart right now that I'm just like, Jamima, give it a rest. My gosh. But I really and truly enjoy his bags. And I really want to work with him. Like, how do y'all do that? Anyways. This is my Fotega collection. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever pay full price for Bottega. Um, like I enjoy their bags, but not 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 Bottega price enjoy. Amazon price enjoy. And I feel like I'm so content with Amazon. Like I just that's that's it for me. I'm more than happy. But yeah, alright, that's it. <laughs> I guess that was my collection video. <laughs> Target, I have custom made stuff. I just have stuff from all over the place, from everywhere, different websites, different stores. But I'm very happy with my collection. Um, I was really like working on getting quality, like black everyday bags and stuff. But I think now I'm ready to dip into color. Yeah, I'm ready to dip into nice color bags, like texture, uh, finishes. Um, vibrant colors maybe like a little fur here razzle dazzle sequins Ugh, who would have known like jima's a sequin girl like y'all like i really have like glam tendencies and i never thought that for me because in my mind i'm not glam i'm like edgy but like when it comes to like jewelry and like a good purse even a little bit on the shoe like i will do glam like who y'all see this anyways child <laughs> That was my quick purse collection video. <laughs> Last, but most certainly not least, hey y'all. I had um, my guy put my plaque up. This was actually hanging on this and it really had scuffed up the back of this wall really badly. So I said, just put it so that it covers it. <laughs> but yeah, my plaque, my YouTube plaque is finally hanging up. Yeah, yeah. And so I finally have cleared away that plaque from this right here so all you have now are my earrings my earring collection um most of them anyways i have to figure out how i'm gonna store my like shop bought pieces because i don't really know how these are gonna like fit so i just have to figure things out quick update on the candles hold on like I said earlier, it's been burning all day. Look at where this is, and look at where this is. And I started this after, and it's bigger. Like, <laughs> that's insane, insane. Oh, baby, you get your burn time out of the sense of hibiscus. Get you some, okay? <laughs> get you some quality, uh, non-toxic candles. Oh, I need to stock up. I need to stock up because, baby, the difference is crazy. Like, this is not making it past tomorrow if I do another all-day burn. This? Oh, this one's going to last. That's insane. Hi, guys. So, I spent the rest of the evening trying to edit the vlog that was supposed to be up today, but because I had no power for my prime editing time, I couldn't upload it. But baby, that ball takes forever. I just spent like four hours and I'm like just halfway done. I'm at the 30 minute mark. Oh, Lord. Um, I was hoping I could just do a late upload. Like even if it was like 10 o'clock, just put it out. Ciao. It's midnight right now. And once again, the 30 minute mark. Mind you, I was awake the whole time. Oh, ciao. It is hit. Oh. Anyways, I'm tired. I'm about to call it a night. Um, I'm not sure how short this vlog is going to be, but it is what it is because your girl ain't got nothing left in her. So, say goodnight to my living room. Say goodnight to my living room. Uh, say goodnight to my living room. Yeah. Say goodnight to my living room. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Period. I'm gonna see y'all in the next vlog. It's been a key. T-T-Y-L. Toodles. Bye. <laughs>